Water is like the bloodstream of the biomass and it's fundamental that we manage its functions and its flows and its storages in time and space, both at the local level, but also, of course, at the global level. And if it gets too disturbed, we might reach critical tipping points. And this is one of the things that this book talks about, is that in some areas and some regions of the world, we are potentially reaching these critical tipping points in terms of water and land resources, which are then undermines our opportunities for the future. Water resources are degraded through two principal ways. First, we take out too much water and use it elsewhere, so there's not enough water flowing downstream for other uses and other habitats and ecosystem services. And the other way is that we pollute water through our development, um, such as in urban areas and, and industrial uh, practices. And both of these can, can affect the ability of ecosystem service to function somewhere else in the landscapes. So if we're polluting or taking out too much water, we undermine the bloodstream functions that we have through fresh water flows in the landscape. So from our author's perspective, I think that the key, key insight we have here is that we have these fundamental challenges and that we are reaching very critical potential tipping points in our freshwater systems around the globe, but that we also have some opportunities and we can learn from some small cases of success around the world in different hydrological settings that can inform and help us manage for better prosperity in the future.